What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Ramsa here, and today I bring another Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts unboxing, and this one is gonna kind of hurt me, only because I've never done it like this. So, as you guys already know, SH Figure Arts, they put out, uh, or Tamashii Nations actually, they put out some Dragon Ball Z figures every now and then, and during Comic-Con, San Diego specifically, they like to release these exclusives that are basically just recolors. So for example, we got this uh, Arlie of Vegeta one, which is, look at that. Comic Con exclusive, which is basically like the Scatter Vegeta that came out uh, a couple years ago, but it's just in the original color that came out, I believe, in uh, a special episode that got fixed later, essentially. And what they do for Comic Con is they'll literally just re release these figures with one small change and they end up becoming super rare because they're highly limited and they become ex very, very expensive. So, because of that, I never open these. I mean, you can still see the original tape if this can focus. Come on, focus, focus, camera focus. It's not gonna focus or whatever. You can see the initial, can you, oh, it's focusing on Broly. Can you not focus on, on, on the stuff around? Ah, come on. Whoa, why you do this? Why you do this? Focus on Goku, focus on Goku. Come on, no? Okay, I give up. So you can see that the tape is still right there because I never opened these. Now, the only one that I ever did open was this one. And that's because this is my very first SH figure that I ever got back in like 2012, I believe. And I just happened to see it, I bought it, I didn't know anything about these things, and uh, had I known about the rareness and the exclusiveness of it, I would've never opened it, uh, but uh, I learned. With that said, this year, the exclusive was none other than Broly himself. Look at that, you can't even see him because he's so freaking massive. Look at those nipples. So now, uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and break down the original Broly, which you can see right there. I'll have a Goku for scale so you can just see the size difference and then show you basically whether or not this figure is worth it. So to those who uh, are unlucky enough, to have to order these, hopefully this video will, let me just adjust my camera, hopefully this video will be able to help you decide whether or not you, you know, want to invest in these, because like I said, the San Diego Comic Con figures are very, very expensive, and like I said, it hurts me to have to open this for this video, but you know what, for science, we're gonna, we're gonna venture there. Oh no, Broly dropped his balls, Broly dropped his balls. I just need to have you sit there while we put these figures in the back for a nice little backdrop. So if you just sit over here, there you go. All right, so let me just go ahead and use my, trusty razor, my manly, very manly razor, to just kind of slit in here, slide it open. Oh God, this hurts. Ah, uh, uh, this hurts, why do I have to do this? There we go. And first of all, actually, let me show you the box. Here's the full box. I mean, I already took the figure out, so you can't really see it, but this is the, the box, essentially. So, uh, it's green, as you can see, uh, which is kind of cool. I believe the initial one was like yellowish, but I don't really remember, it's over there somewhere. Uh, but it's the same box, it's just the hair, the hair on his Broly in the, pants are, are mostly the big difference. Now, I don't know if this Tamashi effect is actually, yeah, this Tamashi effect actually isn't even in this, but they just kind of add it in there, because they want to trick us into thinking that you get that, but it's not. But really, all you get is the Broly, the nipples, the Broly nipples, come on, focus on nipples, there it is. The Broly nipples, and then of course, the green balls, because you know Broly, he loves his balls, and of course, you got the, the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and put this box down here, and here is the monster himself, Broly Summer. Look at that. Now the cool thing about this figure is, is just the, the sheer size of it. Look how freaking huge this is. Again, you come with three balls, which I believe is the same amount that came with this one. I only have uh, two on them right now because uh, the way I had them set up up there on my shelf is I just had them holding these balls because again, that's what Broly likes to do. You just like to hold balls. There's gonna be so many ball jokes in the comments. You know what, I, I wanna see you guys post the funniest ball jokes in the comments just because uh, I already know it's gonna happen. So might as well turn it into a game. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just put this guy aside for one second. Where's your other ball at, bro? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's put this guy on the side for a second. Let's just, let's, let's just look at this thing inside the clamshell package. Let's kind of zoom out of here so you can get a full perspective. I'm using my girlfriend's camera now, which is a lot easier to do these unboxings. It's a lot higher quality too, so look at that. Look at that. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna notice that it's not just the hair that's different. And again, I'll do a full comparison in a couple of seconds. Like, this guy had a tan, look at that. This Broly right here, Never went outside. This Broly stayed at home playing Dokkan Battle on his phone all day, whereas this Broly went outside on the beach and he worked out. And that's the big difference between these two. That's how his hair got kind of greenish, but it's gonna put him to the side for a second and it's gonna pop this out, shall we? Let's pop this out real fast. Just give me one second to do that. There we go, pop. Okay, so, first and foremost, first and foremost, I hope the audio sounds good on this because I've never done an unboxing with this camera yet, but We'll see what happens when we actually start editing. First and foremost, you've got the hand pieces, uh, which just consists of a closed fist, which you can see right there. If it's, if it's focused enough, come on, focus, there it is. You got the open palm, which is for like the key blast, or just, you know, grabbing you by your face, as you can see him do in uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe, where he just grabs you by the face and disrespects you completely. And of course, you got the open palm, high five, when he wants to high five Goku in the back, who up there is 
Still wondering why his hand hurts so much from uh, the lack of focus. There it is. Come on, focus. Focus, camera. There it is. Come on, just gonna. There we go. Oh, I, actually, I can focus by tapping on the screen. Look at that. Didn't know that. So let's actually test it out. Can I? Let's see. Let's do some more focusing. Focusing. Ooh, wow. Today I learned. Look at that. We're learning on on video. So again. What he's doing right now is he is questioning why his hand hurts so much after getting an epic Broly high five. So that's what you get up there. And of course, you got the balls, which I already showed off. And now let's look at the faces. Well, we take this Broly out slowly because we don't want to break this. Let's put him up here, prop him up against um, the Goku back there. Let's show off the faces. If I'm the faces out. Come on, faces. Up, 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 up. Come on. Yeah, the, the thing about these figures is. Um, is they, they get very expensive, like I said. Uh, they're only available at Comic Con usually. I mean, they, the originals that came out, Broly came out a couple months ago, so I don't know if you can still buy them online. I think the original is still like 120 bucks if you get it on Amazon or something. But the Comic Con exclusive are especially expensive. So let's look at this. Uh, let's look at his face. So this is one of the faces if I can focus. Come on. Let's, let's not have Broly in the background because he's taking all the focus with his power, with his key. There it is. There that focus. So you got the angry rage face again, you got the uh, greenish tint eyebrows. Uh, and then you got this face right here, which is kind of like the smirk, like, yeah, I eat booty. Look at that. Oh, let's get those guys out in the background. Come on, focus again. So if this, is the, this is the I eat booty smirk. There it is. Look at that. There it is. And again, green eyebrows once again. So it's going to put that aside. And then here's the actual figure itself. Let's put Goku back up. Don't fall. Again, he's massive. I mean, I, my little tripod is actually not tall enough to show off this bro. That's how incredibly tall he is. I mean, look. Next to go, he just towers over. Let's actually make sure we can get freaking focus again. There we go. Look at that. Look at that size difference. Look at that size difference. So let's go ahead and get. Let's see what this Broly's all about. Let's actually get up in the action and get into the zone. So first things first. Here is the head to toe um, look of it. It's amazing. It's pretty cool. You'll notice that the pants are dirty. And the reason why they're dirty, like I said, is because this Broly he went outside. He spent all day playing basketball outside, and he got you know he fell in the dirt. He played basketball with, with Goku and his squad, and Ended up uh, getting dirty and caught a mean tan. That's the big difference here. Let's actually kind of prop him up without falling. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to not knock him down. Let's actually just move him to back here. Here we go. Uh, so articulation again. If you haven't seen the initial video, which I'm sure a lot of you guys might not have seen because I've done it months ago. Very articulative. If you like articulative Dragon Ball figures, this one's probably by far one of the best companies to do it. Uh, Tamashi Nations, SH Figure Arts. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Look at all that. Very very. But you probably can't see it because it's so damn tall. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Ooh. For some reason, my camera is focusing on his nipple right now. I see the little movement, which is kind of funny. Um, here's this little kilt. That's what his wiener looks like, in case you were wondering. Uh, oh, don't knock the camera over. <laughs> so many bloopers in this video. There we go. There we go. Again. So the big difference really is just due to the fact that he is a bit darker toned and the green hair is what stands out the most. So I guess uh, it's, more, it's more focused around the... The Broly that we saw in the show, basically. So now let's compare the differences between the two. Let's actually put this up and this one. Like, oh, what a rap style. What is it? Let me focus. Here we go. What, what is the differences? Oh, which Broly do people want to get? Well, it all depends about the collective value point for yourself. Again, if you compare these two, honestly, uh, I gotta go with the the this one more, just because, like I said, it feels more dirty and gritty, which is what Broly's all about. I mean, like I said, this one's kind of pale. Like I said, he stayed inside all day playing video games, whereas this one went outside, he was hooping, he became stronger, uh, his pants are a bit dirty, as you can see. There's, there's a clearly a difference between the pants. You know, you got the Air Saiyan 7s, which are, for the most part, they seem the same color, although there's a slighter, darker tone on um, the kicks over here. So really, all you get with this Broly is just green hair, a tan, and then dirty pants, whereas this one's kind of like, why does nobody want me? Oh no, I fell, I dropped it, I broke it. Didn't break it, let's go ahead and pop it back up. So yeah, again, the problem with this Broly is though, is just due to the fact that it's a price point. So really, if you're a big fan of uh, Broly's character, which I know a lot of people are, but people love their Broly, it just comes down to like, what do you want to pay? Can I get this freaking uh, focus back on? There we go. Uh, it all depends on what you want to actually pay. Uh, this one, like I said, will retail roughly for about 120 bucks. It came out a while ago, whereas this one, it's Comic Con exclusive, and the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. I mean, I know this Goku right here, I, I think I bought this for like 40 bucks at last year's Comic Con. This one easily goes between 150 to 200 bucks right now on, on uh, eBay. And this is the same Goku as the one that came out years ago. The only difference is the fact that he has this little logo on his shirt now, as well as on his back, which you can see right there. So, 
Again, if you're a collector, I'd say go for this one. But if you just want a cool, amazing, awesome Broly figure, go for this one. But either way, they're both still pretty pricey. So honestly, if you can get this figure right now for like 150 bucks, 30 bucks more, I would go for that. But if you wait, if you wait a long time after Comic-Con ends, then you might fall into the trap where this figure ends up being like 200, 300 bucks. So again, it's all whether, you're not, whether or not you like limited it, so it's really up to you guys. So I guess the question after you guys is, if you had a choice to choose between both of these Broly's, the green hair one or the yellow one, which one would you rather prefer? Comment it down below. But other than that, I guess let me know your thoughts on this figure. So let's go ahead and end with the infamous Broly pose because he's just yelling. Actually, I guess I need to get this face out. Kakarot. Wait, wait, come on, focus. Focus, there we go. Kakarot. Kakarot. You ate my food. See what happened was the, the actual backstory of Broly is right when Broly was born, Goku went to the fridge, into the sand fridge, and he ate his uh, pudding. And um, he got kind of mad about that. So that's actually the true backstory of why Broly hates Kakarot, Kakuroto, Goku so much. But either way, that's pretty much my re quick review. And I can't believe I actually took this out of the box. Uh, trying to put it back in the box and pretend, pretend that this never actually happened. But hey. We did it for science, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like button below. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop a comment down below. Uh, by the way, to get this, I would say check between Amazon and eBay. Just again, SH figures, Stratmall figures are always very expensive, so uh, whatever you find is basically whatever you should stick with. Again, for this one, roughly 120 bucks. For this one right now, I believe it's going between 150 to 200. But Comic-Con just ended. I mean, Comic-Con is still going on today from when I'm recording this video. So it depends on how much time actually passes. This figure could get even worse, so if you have the money for it, I say go for this one, but if not, just grab yourself this one and then call it a day. But yeah. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today. My name is Ryan Sal, and I will see all y'all super sandwiches in the comment section below. And Goku is still questioning the pain that he feels inside his hand uh, after the epic high five that he got from Broly. Can you focus better? Come on, Fo oh, camera, there we go. Look at that. <sighs> My hand. My hand. <sighs> Anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.